Hi guys, I just want to share with you a quick update um, on my Oculus tendon post-operation recovery for the past 5, 6, and 7 weeks. So on the 5th week, um, I still continue to do the exercises as I showed you on the week 4 uh, on the previous video. And at the same time, the weight bearing also continue as long as tolerated meaning that you can put weight um, on your injured leg <clears throat> um, as long as there is no pain so and also my boot is still continue to fix or oh, is fixed on the 10 degree um, above 90 degrees uh, which is equal to 100 degrees um, wide angle um, so I'm still using the width sole um, so this is the width sole uh, when I using during on the fifth week so yeah if you're using the back of bed um, boot so you can this is the which sole you will use actually start from week um, 3 okay <clears throat> so um, um, also I continue learning I start learning um, walking without the uh, without the crutches support so how I do is like this. <clears throat> so so when you walk, I last time when I walk um, like this slowly and if let's say you cannot walk um, if let's say there's pain or better before you do start walking you must use your crutches <clears throat> and make sure that when you walk you must use your um, heel first like this together like this slowly you can put weight on the injured leg do not afraid okay <clears throat> yeah so that's how um, I start learning to walk um, so first I use the crutches um, to learn so basically um, when you start walking right <clears throat> Uh, make sure that you start in the right way. So how you will know that you can uh, walk properly. So you must think on your um, normal leg. It means that you can you must um, observe how it walk. Then this is uh, how you will give a command from your brain to your injured leg, so that you will walk properly instead of um, dragging your foot. Uh, while walking without the crutches so that's <coughs> and also um, on the fifth week also I use to start using this um, um, this one uh, even up um, even up uh, what's this um, even up extra um support in order to balance the in order to balance the walking because if you start walking um it will uh what's this it will um it will hurt your hips while um 
it will hurt your hips while walking uh, and, and it, it is not balanced so yeah you have to use that one so the boots and together the even up was provided to me after I discharged I was discharged last time on the on the <coughs> hospital so yeah um, so that's it for the walking start walking all then and also the, uh, then uh, I added also a leg exercise so basically you can if there's a small gap on your in your house so maybe one inches or two inches gap you can start you uh, doing that to strengthening your leg the injured one <clears throat> then that is what I did um, in order to support when especially um, when I proceed to the stairs without holding um, without holding um, on the stair support and also at the same time on the crutches so yeah um, this by this um, it will add strength on your legs I didn't um, afraid because it is fixed the on the on the boots itself so it, it will not move so it means that my my foot is continuously pointing down so this uh, that's it for the added exercise on the stairs and then um, also I start the plantar flexation actually I all I did this one the plantar flexation which is pointing your toes and also the active inversion the neutral inversion and also the other one the active inversion so basically I did this one starting on the fifth week um, in the third and fourth week I did but not much because um, it the, the foot itself is still swelling and you can only see the improvement the range of your the of this exercise when it ended on the sixth week so yeah so how the let's see <clears throat> so for the um, for the plantar flexation so make sure that you are not go beyond on the you are not go beyond on the 90 degrees or on the current settings on your boots or on your leg so so like this So if your foot is pointing down, so slowly you do this pointing. So this is your um, plantar flexation. So <clears throat> at least 10 seconds, then re rest. And then, so this is also the active um, the what's this the active inversion then neutral and then inversion so basically um, as long as there's no pain um, you can continue doing this slowly so gently on the fifth week um, then you can also still continue this one on the sixth week so, okay so this is how I do the um, exercise on my on my injured leg. So gently you do. If it is pain, then don't continue. <coughs> so yeah, and then yeah. So that is on the fifth week. So basically, more on learning how to walk, and then on the sixth week. Um, 
I managed to walk without the crutches uh, with confidence but on this time um, I use the crutches when I wake up in the morning because it's tight so until I manage the injured leg uh, we can warm up then start walking without the crutch I start walking without the crutches <coughs> uh, but yet still slowly and then uh, <coughs> and then continue also the um, the exercise the active inversion the neutral inversion the active inversion plantar flexation so yeah that would um, that are the the exercise <coughs> that I continue on the six week so basically it's just a progress where when you start on the fifth week you can see the result we uh, the good result on the six week especially in the end of six week so yeah you can um, <coughs> so you can learn these things so just take note that when you start walking uh, attempt in uh, walking then make sure that you do in the right way because our leg was um, immobilized for a few um, few weeks so it means that we have to teach again our leg to walk so in order for you to walk properly in you must observe how the not uh, the normal leg how it walks then you follow also to the the injured leg with the support of the crutch uh, crutches and then if you are confident enough then you can um, le <coughs> learn without the crutches okay so that is the fifth and sixth week now on the seventh week i started to set my um, my boot into 90 degree so after I set the boot into 90 degree I use this um, flat sole so this one Oops. so yeah so I use this one this flat sole um, on my buckle with um, boots so just a quick one so, so yeah this is the settings if you can see so there's a settings here on this um, um, on this um, boot itself so basically if 90 degrees like this so these are the set these are the lock where you it will stop the ranges of your foot <clears throat> so yeah this just a quick uh, quick um, sample on my boots that I'm using yeah so 90 degrees on the first day of the week 7 so there's no pain and on the first day I waited <coughs> Um, on the 90 degrees so slowly walk using the 90, 90 degrees and then I have was I uh, have appointment on that seven on the seventh week also on the doctor and so far he saw that the um, the um, wound is healing properly yeah so you can see that um, you can see this from the um, from the post op on the first um, first week compared to the um, compared to the seven week um, the wound itself is you can see that the healing is working properly. <coughs> so yeah, um, after that I also have the physio. Um, therapist appointment um, on the seventh week as well so I started to 
um, have get them made the exercise to reach the goal on the on the so the um, pointing up uh, I think this is called door flexation so before it is 90 degrees so within for the first in the first um, uh, for the next two weeks um, the doctor instructed that if there is a settings or my foot should able to do a door flexation when it reach to um, 30 degrees so the maximum is 30 degrees so within this seven week I managed to reach into uh, from 90 degrees I managed to 10 degrees so it means 90 minus 10 is equal to um, 80 degrees <coughs> so yeah so 80 degrees um, from 90 so that is if uh, I managed to reach on the end of this um, um, on the end of week 7 so yeah I'm very happy that um, at least um, from pointing down now is the objective is to um, to point up so it means that when doing pointing up means that it will stretch the it will start stretching the um, our Achilles injury <coughs> so it is when it's stretching it means that it means that um, it means that it the objective is to make it more um, elastic yeah so <clears throat> on the seven week also I can see that the um, I noticed that the swelling subs is uh, is subsided so I didn't um, apply any icing and I asked the doctor he says that it's normal whether it will um, if it will swell so um, basically so I didn't apply so it means that it subsided by itself so yeah and also new exercises was given on the seven week <clears throat> to strengthen the leg and also the um, balance also the balances balance on the uh, on my body so I started on this uh, on this time <clears throat> uh, balance means I use my injured leg to stand uh, and then uh, without the support or if cannot then I need to hold for something uh, yeah so yeah that's it starting on the seventh week <clears throat> and then for showering I can also stand actually uh, on the seventh week I managed to stand um, showering um, without the support and I'm very happy on it at least the balance itself but if you uh, it, it is so meaning that uh, just take note that different um, bodies uh, has different um, progress so basically you should uh, think <coughs> um, or listen to your body itself yeah so and then um, on this seven week also I'm very happy that I can slowly walk um, without the boot support so yeah um, I made the first attempt um, on the there was a the, I made a uh, first attempt and also uh, yeah so I'm very happy that I can able to walk without the boot support so I can show you also so earlier I have the boots so now I remove the boot So the left leg, this is the injured leg. So you see, I can stand and walk also. 
ਦਾ ਦਾ ਦੋ ਯਾ ਸੋ ਦੀ ਅਦਰ ਡੇ ਇਸ ਮਾਈ ਫਰਸਟ ਅਟੈਂਪਟ ਦਿਸ ਵਿਦ ਦੀ ਮਾਈ ਇਟਸ ਫਿਊ ਅਟੈਂਪਟਸ ਆਲਰੇਡੀ ਸੋ ਸਲੋਲੀ ਓਨਲੀ ਆਸ ਇਟ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰੈਸ ਆਈ ਬਿਲੀਵ ਥਿਸ ਵਨ ਵਿਲ ਯਾ ਆ so at least um praise god that i i can see that there's a progress on the um in the end of seven week so yeah that's it um i hope that for those who are may have experience on this i believe that it's not easy but we can continue to <coughs> must continue to be patient Um, I didn't expect that it reached in the seven week I managed to reach to walk without the boot but when I'm going out <coughs> I I still need to use the boot itself <coughs> yeah so to wrap up continue to be patient and uh, continue also to pray and also um, continue to or uh, seek advice on the doctor and listen to your doctor's advice um before doing anything and listen to your body uh without to do a t- uh, attempt uh, and then from there you will see whether you can manage um uh, to do so 